we're back um, <clears throat> talking more about fractions. Uh, today, we're going to talk about fractions and measurements and how to solve those. Um, so first things first, uh, let's get a problem. So if I, if I put a problem as uh, one fourth of a pound and I asked, what is that in ounces? What does that mean, right? Um, and in order to figure that out, uh, we need to ask a question. We need to ask how many ounces are in a pound. So I'm going to think about this and maybe I Google it, right? And I'm going to remember that one pound is the same as 16 ounces, okay? And so in this case, what we can look at is a tape diagram, right? And we can say that this entire thing is a pound, right? Which is also equal to 16 ounces. And I want to know what a fourth of that is, okay? So I want to know what a fourth of that is. This is a one, all right? So a fourth of that means that because the denominator is four, we're going to split our tape diagram into four. I'm going to take a fourth of this. So that's what I care about. I care about one fourth of this because that's really all I have. I have a fourth of a pound, fourth of a pound of meat, fourth of a pound of you know vegetables, fourth of a pound. But what is that in ounces? Well, in order to figure out what it is in ounces, we can take the whole and divide it by four. The same thing, the same way we divided one divided by four, got a fourth of a pound, we can take the ounces and divide it by four. So if we divide 16 divided by four and turn that into ounces, we would get four ounces. And what does that mean? That means that this four ounces is going to go in each of these boxes. So when I say what is one fourth of a pound, well, it is just four ounces, just like all the other boxes. So one fourth of a pound is four ounces. So that's how we kind of do uh, fractions with measurements. So um, let's take this same idea. I'm going to keep that and get rid of everything else. And let's try that with one more problem. Um, now we could do this with anything, right? Three fourths of whatever it is, okay? So it could be a fraction of anything. So we're going to take feet and guess what we're going to turn it into? Inches, okay? And if I'm not sure about this, what do I want to think? Well, I want to ask the question, well, how many inches are in a foot? And you're probably shouting at me right now, but um, if we have one foot, that's going to be equal to 12 inches. We know that. So again, we can take our tape diagram and understand that this is one foot, but it is also 12 inches because those are the same thing. We're going to split it into fourths using the denominator. If this was, you know, five sixths, we would split it into six, right? But this is in fourths. So three fourths, the same way that one, right? Is, is divided by four, we're going to split this up, but now we want to know inches. So the problem becomes 12 um, divided by four, right? Because that's the part. And so that's going to tell us how much is in each box. There's going to be three. Three what? Well, we deal with inches. So there's three inches in each box. Now, to take this a step further, what part do I care about? Well, I care about three-fourths. So three times three is nine. So uh, in this case, three-fourths of a foot is nine inches. Okay. Now, showing that in math, what we're really doing is we're converting the three-fourths to f in order, and we're turning that into inches. In order to do that, we can take the feet away, right? Anything we multiply by one becomes that. Change it out, right? There's our 12 inches. And multiply, 
straight across, right? 12 times three, we could cross cancel for doing multiplication, we can cross cancel these. So four goes into itself one time, four goes into 12, three times and three times three is nine inches. So that's how, that's the math that's happening. Okay, that, that is the math that's going on. Um, another way that we could have done it, uh, let's see, let's go, let's undo, and I'm gonna take that same problem, so you can pause it and check that math out. Or what you can do is realize, here, I'll stop here, is that what we could have done is 3 fourths times 12 inches, and we know with multiplying fractions, we multiply um, straight across, right? Straight across 12 inches. Um, three fourths of 12. We can also look at it as 12 divided by four, which is also three. So then we would get like this, same thing. We just switched them, switch the denominator. And then we can do this division problem, which is three, which is gonna equal nine inches as well. So a lot of different ways to do it. That's kind of how you look at um, fractions and converting to measurements. Um, pretty easy, but uh, take a look at the video, make sure you understand it, and try some more problems out and see how you do.